Once upon a time, there were three little pikes. They each built their own house. One house was made from straw. One house was made from sticks. One house was made from bricks. One day, the big bad wolf came to the pig in the straw house. The little pig ran inside. And the bad wolf said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. The little pig said, Why am I here on my chinny chinny chin? So sad. I huff, I huff, I will blow your eyes down. So the big wolf threw down the house of straw. Little big ran to his friend and the house of sticks. The big bad wolf came to the house of sticks. He said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The little pig said, Not by the hair, hair, chinny, chinny, chinny. So the wolf said, I huff, I huff, I blow your eyes down. So the big bad wolf flew down the house of sticks. The little pigs ran to the front and the house of bricks. The big bad wolf came to the house of bricks. He said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The little pig said, Not, Not by the hairs, hairs the chin, 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 chin. So the wolf said, Then we huff and then we huff and we blew our house down. But you didn't. He coughed and he coughed and he couldn't go down the house made of bricks. He climbed down the chimney. But the three little pigs had lit a big fire. The wolf got burnt and ran away. The three the little, little pigs, pigs live happy ever after. The end. Once upon a time, there were three bears and lived in a house in the forest. Mummy bear made some porridge and the three bears went for a walk. Why did they come down? The little girl named Goldilocks. Found the bear's house. She went inside. She found a piece of the porridge. She tried the first bowl but said, This porridge is too long. She tried to set a bowl, but she said, This one is too cold. She tried to throw the bowl and said, Mmm, this one is too black. She made this set on the chair. She tried the first chair, but she said, This set is too high. She tried the second chair, but she said, this chair is beautiful. She tried the first chair and said, This chair is just right. It wasn't just right. The chair broke. She fell to the floor. Goldilocks was tired. She fell in the bedroom and tried the first bed. But she said, This bed is too hard. She tried the second bed and said, this bed is too soft. She tried her fur bed and said, This bed is just what? The three bears come home from their walk and found a porridge. Daddy bear said, Someone has been in my porridge. Mommy bear said, Someone has been in my porridge. Baby bear said, Someone has been in my porridge. I need my mom to find the chairs. Daddy bear said, Someone has been sitting on my chair. Mummy Bear said. Someone has been sitting on my chair. Baby Bear said. Someone's been sitting on my chair and they broke it. For the beds. Daddy Bear said. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mummy Bear said. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear said. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still here. Gordy Drugs woke up and saw the three bears looking at her. She screamed ah! and ran out the door. Time, 
It's a leather ring which was sent by her mom for the picnic basket for Granny. She walked through the forest to get to Granny's house. The big bell fell over a riding head walking through the forest. He asked her, Where are you going? She said, I'm going to Granny's house. The wolf said, Come with me, I know a short go off the path. The little red ring said that. No mom told me to stay in the path. And she walked on on the forest path. But that wolf ran through the forest and got to Granny's house first. He loved Granny and he said, put on some of her pajamas. Little red riding hood showed up at Granny's house. The wolf was waiting in Granny's pajamas. Red riding hood said, Granny, what big ears she have. All the better to hear you as my dear. Granny, what big eyes she have. All the better to see you as my dear. Granny, what big teeth she have. All the better to eat you as my dear. And the wolf jumped up and chased her around the house. The wood cut her outside and ran in and saw the wolf chasing the red riding hood. The wood cut her chasing the wolf back into the forest. The wolf riding hood let Granny out of the shed. And we ate the picnic together and we all live happily ever after. The end! Once upon a time, Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters. They were very mean to Cinderella. They made her clean the whole house every day. One day, the prince was having a ball in his castle. Cinderella wanted to go, but her stepmother didn't allow her. They all went without Cinderella. She got very sad. Suddenly, her fairy godmother appeared and made Cinderella a new dress and glass slippers with magic. She turned a pumpkin into a carriage, but she warned Cinderella, the spell will be broken at midnight. Cinderella went to the ball and she danced with the prince. She had so much fun. Midnight came and the spell was broken. Cinderella ran home. She dropped her glass slipper at the castle. The prince found the slipper and looked all over for Cinderella. He tried to slip her with every woman in the camera until he found Cinderella. They were very happy together. They all happy happily ever after. The end! <laughs> John Deere Ford Charester. It is so hungry for car. It is waiting for food. It is about to die from hunger. I need to get a new GPS system for it is broken because we forgot to close the door when a bird picked at it. By the way, GPS stands for Global Positioning System. There are a lot of jobs for the forage harvester. You can harvest corn, maize and grass. The header cuts the crops. It goes into the trailer. You need a trailer with the four harvester because the four harvester can't hold the crops. After harvesting, you must dump the crops in the pit. The John Deere four harvester can hold 1,100 horsepower. On Friday night, my dog had uh, four puppies. I was so surprised. The first one was called Holly. The second one was called Molly, I think. And the third one was called Jeff. And the fourth one was called Gun. I used to have a dog that was called Jess, but it died. 
On Saturday night, we had a great steak dinner. Ethan and James hopped on the quad to go feed the cattle. The next day, Ethan and James went to the tractor, and Ethan called John Muddy if we could get 56 straw bales. John Muddy said, Of course, come at 2 o'clock. I'll be there and see you at 2 o'clock. I love living on the farm. I love living on the farm. I love, I love living on the farm. I, I love, love living on the farm. And then they go and birth again. <laughs> <laughs>
predators are sharks, penguins and tunas. The Australian box jellyfish is the most venomous marine animal. Octopuses. Octopuses have blue blood in their body. Octopuses have no bones in their body. An octopus has a beak that can peck you to death. Greenland shark has the longest known life um, between 300 and 500 years old. Greenland shark are rarely encountered by humans. They are thought to prefer colder, deeper environments, but may be found anywhere between the sea surface and a depth of 2,200 meters. The great white shark lives in almost all coastal and offshore waters, which have water temperatures between 12 and 24 degrees Celsius. Hop on out. I hope you enjoyed our trip with Lucia, Emma, Niall, Ethan and Dara. I hope this answers all your questions about Under the Sea. One evening, Baby Groot and the Tickle Monster were on a lovely walk in the forest. Rocket was fixing his pod. As they got deeper into the forest, they heard some kind of marching noise coming from behind a mysterious gate. Tickle Monster, I don't think this looks very safe, said Baby Groot. They heard a strange voice. I'm going to kill you! <laughs> Run! said the tickle monster. Then the master minion emerged from the top of a huge oak tree. Is that the quad I hear? said the tickle monster. <laughs> Jump on! <laughs> said Rocket. Let's get out of here. Look, the gates are opening! said Rocket. Oh no! The minions are following us! said Baby Girl. We need to go home, said the Tickle Monster. The minions are invading our house! One dull evening, three girls called Moody, Sana and Sunny were sitting bored. They decided to go to the movies. There's a great movie in town. Can we go see the Teletubby movie? No, Sana. Fine. Now let's go get some popcorn and some drinks. Sana, have you soaked your mushroom toes? They stink. I can go do it now if you like. Ew! Nasty! Go wash them! They stink! I'm back Moody! They smell good! Let's, Let's go. go! We need to get our food first. Oh, I'm starving! Santa! I'll get my food first. Can I have five pizzas, two popcorns, and two sodas. Can I please have two popcorns, two sodas, four pizzas and one ice cream please? Please can I have two ice creams, three sodas, four pizzas and three popcorns. Your movie started five minutes ago. Go to seats! Um, this movie is really scary. The movie is over, finally. Ah, what's that behind the cinema screen? Is that a door behind the cinema screen? Let's go explore. Yep. What is in there? 
Santa Moody, look, there's a graveyard. Ah, Moody, Tony, help! Why is this graveyard here for us? There's a grave for our pets, hard vegetable and cloudy. Oh no! Let's get out of here Why we still can. I just want to go home. <gasps> we finally escaped that creepy graveyard. Let's just go up to bed. Ah, there's a banana chasing after us. Run, guys! Yeah, I died. <laughs> I think it's banana eats. Oh no, it's banana. Don't grow up. Don't grow up. So nasty. Ah, it's there. Need a There's so much banana. I'll be tell man. Let's get these bananas gone. Yeah, I know, I I like the smell. Ew! All of them had some of the edits. Oh my god, there's some of my shoe. Nobody wants to do it. Ew! Ew! Gomi and Dummy are two creatures. Gomi is a fish and Dummy is a cat. Long ago, Gummy and Dummy got stranded on the island by the Vikings. Gummy and Dummy have been stranded there for about 10 years now. They are just having a good game of football when a loud shout comes from the shore. It was the Vikings. Gummy and Dummy was scared. Take in mind, their island has been attacked before. Gummy and Dummy was prepared, but the Vikings did not have a clue. Attack this island! No! Oh my goodness, we're being attacked! Everyone, run quickly! Run and hide now! Gummy, follow me! We can hide together! Okay, but quick, the Vikings are coming! Off they ran to hide under an old ruined shipwreck. Ha ha ha, this island will be mine! I will become unstoppable! Ha ha ha! We must stop them, I think I have an idea! Do you notice anything about their clothes, Dummy? Yes, they're wearing flammable clothes. We can set them on fire. And I have matches in my pocket. We're prepared. Just one problem. Dummy, how do we light the matches? How am I supposed to know? It's your plan. The two heroes were in trouble. They did not know how to light the matches. What are our two heroes supposed to do now to defeat the Viking King or escape? There's no way to escape. Ha ha ha! Maybe the Viking King is right. There is no escape. Dummy, we can steal the boat. It's actually called a longship gummy because it's very long. So how are we all supposed to get everyone on the longship without the Viking King noticing? Ha ha ha! This island is mine! Everyone run to the longship now! Everyone, everyone listen to them! Gone. Get to the longship! They ran as fast as they could to the longship. Quick, get us away from this island, Gummy. Okay, calm down, we're leaving the island. No, come back! <laughs> Yay, we escaped the island, and now the Vikings are stuck on the island. We're finally free from that island, and all the chaos of the Vikings are done. We did it, we escaped the Vikings. Now our heroes escaped with all the 
the other people that were on the island and now they escaped, they can finally relax and have fun once again and never be bothered by those silly Vikings ever again. The, the end! end. Once upon a time, two dolls called Bailey and Bella lived on a farm in Donegal. Bailey and Bella had a mother and father who were smart sheep dogs who could run for miles and jump tall hedges. They ran after sheep and did cool tricks. One day, Bailey was watching the new baby lambs and he noticed a red van pulling up the driveway. A strange man got out of the van. Bella came running up to him, barking loudly. This man came to the house every day, asking for the pups. But their owners told them that he's a bad man, so that the pups would stay away from him. One dark, rainy night, the bad man snuck into the barn and stole the pups. He put the pups in a cage and threw them into the back of the van. The pups woke up in a barn that they had never saw before. Bella woke up and sniffed around, then woke up daily. Oh. What? Go to sleep, Bella. Leave me alone. Wake up, Bailey. Mum and Dad are gone. We're in a weird barn, shouted Bella. The pups were scared and thought it was a man who took them. Suddenly they saw that the noise was made by a big brown barn owl. You're new pups. Why are you here? Said the owl in a soft voice. We didn't choose to be here. The man brought us here. I'm Bailey and this is my sister Bella. Hi, my name is Midnight, said the owl. Nice to meet you guys. Where did you come from? We came from Donegal, said Bailey. Well, you're far from home. This is Belfast. Suddenly the barn door opened. It was the man who saw them. There was another dog with him. The man left some food, but the dog told them not to eat it. He told them his name was Bullet and that he also got dog napped when he was a pup. They told them to plan an escape and they would bring him back to their farm. They explained how great the mum and dad were and that they would love him, so he was in. The farmer came to give him food, and the plan commenced. Bullet ran out of the barn, and the farmer chased after him. While he was gone, Bella and Bailey ran away, and Bullet outran the farmer and went with them. After hours of running, they finally made it home. They ran to their parents and hugged them for so many hours. They introduced Bullet. They loved him and they told the pups that the bad man would never come back. The, the end. end. The 9-11 terrorist attack on New York caused destruction for Twin Towers and the people in New York and the whole country of America. Hijackers took control of four American passenger planes and crashed them into important American landmarks. On the 11th of September 2001, at 8.46am, Flight 175 hit the North Tower instantly. Sixteen minutes later, a second jet hit the South, killing hundreds of people and trapping many more on the building's higher floors. No one on the plane was going to survive, so the passengers rang their loved ones to say goodbye. None of the hijackers survived. This is a reason airport security has been raised since the 9-11 attack. The hijackers circled over downtown Washington, D.C. and slammed onto the west side of the Pentagon military headquarters. At 9.45 a.m., less than 15 minutes after the terrorists struck the center of the USA military, the situation in New York took a catastrophic turn for the worse when the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed into a massive cloud of dust and smoke. At 10.30 a.m. the North Tower also gave way. The coordinated terrorist attack on September 11th unfolded at nightmarish speed. Within hours, thousands had died, including the fatal crash of United Airlines Flight 93. <coughs> like the three other planes hijacked on September 11th, Flight 93 was overtaken by Al-Qaeda operatives. 
intent on crashing it into another target. The people on board the Flight 93 fought against the hijackers and the plane came crashing down in a field. Air traffic controls panicked. All flights was cancelled. 9-11 caused war between Afghanistan and America, which is still going on today. And this is the longest war the United States has ever been in. On the 26th of March 2009, they built a freedom tower. Thanks for listening. See this guy here? This is Zeus. Zeus, say hello. Hi there, I'm Zeus, God of Fire, I'm in Thunder. I would like to introduce you to my brother, Poseidon, God of Water and Horses. Hang Kang, man. Hi, I'm Iris, God of War. I made a famous war general. I'm looking at you, Napoleon. When Zeus arrives back at Olympus after a long day of smiting people, he finds the gods fighting over who gets the last chicken wing. Yeah, fighting over a chicken wing. Nice. Stop! Stop! I should have the last chicken wing. I am king of gods. No, I should have it. I'm god of the sea. That chicken came from the sea. No, it didn't. Well, technically, chicken came from the sea. It evolved from the fish, so that means that chicken came from the sea. Cool, Poseidon. Cool. No, I should have it. I'll make another war. No, you won't. Try me. Silence. We will go to KFC and get another bucket. Only one? Actually, we should get 15. Let's go. <laughs> Up they go towards KFC. People run away in fear of the mighty giant gods. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Why is everyone screaming at us? Well, it could be that we're 16 feet tall, man. Look, there's a kind of tree. We should eat it. I heard it's Earth's finest. Get a fish, Poseidon, so the cat will come near us. Poseidon, look, it's coming. Grab it. <laughs> this is the police. Drop the cut. Run, run, run. Oh, look, we're at KFC. Let's use the drag fruit and buy some chicken. Yeah. Hi there. This is KFC. What will you have? We'll have 15 buckets of your finest chicken. Okay, how long will we have to wait for the wing? It will be an hour, sir. What? This is an outrage. We have to wait an hour for the chicken? If you don't have the chicken ready in five minutes, we'll steal everybody's chicken. Sir, you won't do that. You think so? Five minutes later. We want our chicken, sir. Sir, we will ban you if you don't leave. How long will it be? It will be ready in two minutes. Two minutes? You said it will be an hour. Uh, sir, uh, we really say you are 16 foot tall and we were scared. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, Zeus, we have a problem. Stop complaining, Aries. Oh, I see. We still have the cops to do with. Run! Not sponsored by KFC. <laughs> Max. I live on my own in LA in New York City. Right now, I'm heading outside to do my business. Over the fence, my next door neighbour Boomer doing the same. Suddenly, I'm floating in the air towards a flying donut. Seconds later, all I can see is black. I woke up in a weird place with weird creatures. There's beeping machines everywhere. The creatures are jabbing me with sharp pointy sticks. The boss creature points his space gun to my head. He has a finger on the trigger. 
I had already accepted that this was my last moment. Bash! The window opens. It's okay though. I realise it's my friend and there's Boomer, my next door neighbour. Okay, enough about Boomer. Paws and tentacles are flying everywhere. As I'm fighting these creatures, I look to my right and there's Boomer lying on the ground covered in scrapes and blood. But I can't stop fighting these creatures. Finally, we knock them all out. But the only thing I care about right now is Boomer. I dash over to him. He looks desperate lying there in pain. Boomer whispers, I find an escape pod. Okay, Boomer, I say. Me and all the other dogs scramble to find an escape pod. We're searching the ship high and low. There must be an escape pod. There always is in these type of adventures. Finally, at the back of the ship, near the kitchen where we find the pods, I send two dogs back to get Boomer and the rest of us to stay and get the pod ready. We don't really know how to fly, but we have no other choice. With a flick of a few buttons and switches, it turns on. I see and the other dogs coming around the corner. We are carefully lifting Buster into the pod. We're all crammed into a miniature spaceship. Moments later, we are hurtling down to Earth at full speed. Where are we going to land? I start to panic. My legs are shaking. We're going to crash. Bash! We crash landed in New York City. Well, that was convenient. That's where me and Boomer live, I said. Now to find our way home. All the other dogs leave me and Boomer. It's a tiring walk home as I have to help Boomer. Finally, we have arrived. Boomer's owner is working, so I ask him, did he want to come to my house? He agrees. Ah, I am back home and I run to the back air to do my business. I am so relieved it is all back to normal.